obviously this is not a streak that you want to be on. I mean, how do you keep the mentality there when you're playing well? You played well against New York, but now you're a three-game losing streak, not where you want to be in the conference. Yeah, it's it's obviously, you know, I wouldn't even say two crazy tough times, but obviously when you get results, it's not um, something a team looks forward to. But again, I think it's it's easier to um, to move forward when you, when you know that you're playing pretty well. Um, you know, even if you look at the past few games in the Dallas game, I think they scored two goals in five or seven minutes, same in, in Vancouver. And for the most part, um, I think we've, we've played well, so we just have to keep building on those things. And again, there'll, be, there'll come times when we're playing in games where we don't deserve to win and we'll get results and we'll get to um, we'll get three points but you know we know that if we keep playing at least the way we're you know the form we're in more often than not we'll, we'll get a good result. Are you concerned by the gap that you guys have kind of created? By, you're five points under the red line but already 12 points under first in the west. Are you concerned that you guys still have enough time to turn it around and get back up there? Um, well at least from my understanding of the team this uh, a slower start isn't the the most unusual thing in the world. Um, Obviously, it's you, you never want to be be like that. But again, it, it's it's all a matter of you know taking it one game at a time. I, I try not to look too too far in advance because, again, if you looked at the, the team the way they started last year and then they ended a, the the season on a good run, I ended up third, if I'm not mistaken. So, a lot can change if you get on a little bit of a good run. So it's just a matter of controlling one game at a time and you know taking each opponent you know as as seriously and you know giving them as much attention as they need. Uh, Coach Porter's never had a three-game losing streak in MLS, but he's been so positive about you guys' performances, mm -hmm. uh, especially after the last game. What has he done to really kind of keep you guys' confidence up? Again, you know, I think there's a lot of positives to build on, and that and that's you know that's one of the easier things to somewhat deal with. Again, if you're if you're losing and you're also playing bad, then you really are you know at a low point. But again, I, I think there was a lot of very good moments last game, and you know I think on a different day the result goes much differently. I think we scored three or four goals, and uh, it's a little bit more comfortable. But again, it's it's all about controlling what we can control and not worrying too much about the opponents. And again, I think if we play up to that standard most games, more often than not, we'll get some good results. And, you know, we the, the fans have been with us and, and they've been incredible. So it's just nice to know that they always have our backs throughout the good and the bad times. You guys um, have already given up 22 goals. I think that leads them last this season. And obviously there's been some inconsistency on the back line, but now you guys have had the same most for the most part, I actually guess there's been a few changes. Most part, same group back there for a few games. What do you need to do to start? Um, I guess especially in the big moments, just coming up with some better defensive performances, getting clean sheets. Yeah, of course. I think you know one thing that's that's often you know lost is I think defending is a, is done with 11 players. Um, so I think that you know from front to back, if we're a little bit tighter and more organized, um, all the way from the center forward back to the goalie, I think that will really help a lot. Um, and then again, in, on the contrary, that goes for scoring goals as well. You know, sometimes we'll say, oh, the front three, front four, front five, whatever it might be. For me, it's a full team thing. So, you know, I think we score goals as a team and we defend goals as a team. So if we can do those things and work on those in training, then I think we'll be a lot better because of that.